All right. How are you guys doing tonight? What you guys? What are you guys been up to? Working on these glutes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, what was that? You doing with that uh, after your car ride? All right. So, uh, um, all right. So pretty much. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. He's asking how you're doing, like after the car and everything. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired now. But, uh, <laughs> waiting, you know, just work. People know know me at work as the guy who sleeps during lunch, so. You sleep during lunch? Yeah. Yeah, I get my, my, my nice one hour nap, you know, get, get that Is extra. Job, like a nap section? Yeah, yeah. My my couple of my coworkers don't even call it lunch break for me. I'll be like, I'll be out for lunch. You mean your nap? <laughs> I was like, yep, indeed, indeed, my nap. All right, all right. Uh, hold on, fixing some audio. Break. Yeah. What we have is like a small little closet that we call the closet. And it's, yeah, it's like a little closet where it's like soundproof. It's like, it's like literally like. I thought my job has offices even full of. Okay. They're like a beating room? Something like that? Like, oh, yes. Yeah, I was. I don't know why I. Thinking of you can just go boost and find cows. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go help out? Get some of these milk from these cows. <laughs> you no. can use this. No, they had like it said, and it was like a room just for moms. Little moms, you know, who needs a and stuff. Uh-huh. It's pretty cool. All right, all right. I think I think I'm ready on my end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nanook, you want to start off the intro? <laughs> he kind of did. This response. I don't know what he's doing. All right. Okay, Dan is asking if she can come here tomorrow at 12 p.m. No. Oh, Jenna. <laughs> Jenna was asking me that the other day. Yeah, so because... Um, her boyfriend's gonna drop her off here to do some yeah. school work because her boyfriend has something to do. And I don't know what Jimmy and I are doing. She's like, saw someone open the door for me. I'm not gonna open it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Stay out. I told her, like, she can work outside. Feels nice outside. <laughs> Said John is gonna check her come by. Someone open it. You can open it because I don't like it. Uh, yeah. It might be in a meeting. Give me the code. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not in any There we go, that's right. Okay, configure. It's I'll just... No focus. Okay, oh, that fix it. Nice. Say yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. All right. Y'all all ready? I don't like the vodka sprite. So, uh, what do you need? No. I saw the whiskey and I was like, mm, there's not a lot of whiskey left. I just feel like. Once. Right. You know what? Someone's drinking. I'm going to grab one for myself as well. <laughs> yeah, go, go grab a drink. Check this out, Randy. How does this look on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jimmy, did Jimmy tell you? Did he tell you that you've been watching on Doctor Who? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm like almost done with season two. First season of the Tenet. Of which one? Of which one? Of uh, Season two. I'm on David Tenet right now. He just started his first season, but I'm near the end of it. Oh, oh, you know what? I did notice that because I was watching Doctor Who like yesterday. We and figured. Also, 
<laughs> and I was like, why is it on uh, Tenant right now? I thought I watched uh, Woody for <laughs> yeah. last night. Yeah, we were like talking yeah. about it. It's like, why does he keep going back to 13? Yeah, season 13. <laughs> They're like, I bet it's probably right. Yeah, I was watching. I'm trying. I'm trying to watch the last two before the regeneration. But yeah, that's a good one. We watched how she regenerated. I don't know if you did. Oh, I I know what happened, but um, I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was that? You like you haven't seen it? You like you know she regenerated, <laughs> but yeah. A- everyone. A- Everything on everyone on social media has been talking about it, so I, yeah. there was no way for me to miss it. I was like, "Well, I got spoiled. Oh well." <laughs> I did too. I just tell everyone we're gonna have to wait a year until they reveal what happened to the doctor. The thing is, my question is, how did bring Donna? Don't say anything because they haven't seen it. But you know what happened to her. Like, how are they bringing that up? Yeah, it's just, yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see in the, in the following year. We have one we'll full that. year. That's the only question I have. How did they do it? We have one full year of uh, Doctor Who theories and questions because don't I'm pretty sure. Don't say I'm, anything anymore. Cause yeah, give me, like, give me like a month. I should be done by the time that I need to do a Doctor Who. Yeah, then whenever we do Doctor Who. Next thing we know, James is uh, watching the classic Doctor Who show. Yeah. All right, the black and white one. Yeah. They're kind of like the first Doctor Who. Was that like eight seasons? Yeah. Uh, There's eight seasons of that, right? The classic. Oh. No. I think it like, was like it's nine. A lot. The wow. classic is like twenty seasons. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And that's only the. F- yeah, that's what we did. We <laughs> so it's been like. I watched like the first Doctor, a little bit of second, skip third, a little bit of fourth, fifth, a little bit of fifth, skip, and then a little bit of eighth, and that was it. And then nice. It was a word on Yeah, I didn't really, uh, I didn't, I, I tried, I got to the third Doctor, I was like, man, 70s, or <laughs> no, 80s, and I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. I know majority of the history. I'm good. They should do like uh, Star Wars, Clone Wars, and actually show the Time Wars, man. That'd be sick. <sighs> One day. Well, they kind of did. They kind of. Yeah, okay. They kind of. Keep talking about the Time Wars. See it. It's kind of like in episode like uh, four through uh, six. six. Uh, they keep talking about the Clone Wars. No, no, just references to the actual war, no uh, visuals. But yeah, um, y- you have a long ways until you actually see anything about the Time War. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, what was it? Mm-hmm. Three more references I gotta go through, huh? All right. I think you have like five more seasons to go. Maybe. <laughs> Really? Yeah, it's in a, it's in Smith's era. Wait, what's his name? David Tennant did it for like three. I think, and I think the same for Matt Smith. Who's who's after The guy from uh, House of the Dragons. Huh? Oh, I guess it's how many seasons did Matt Smith? He did like three as well. But then there was a guy between. What was his name? The older guy? Peter Capaldi. Oh, yeah. He's in a lot of Yeah, he was, he was a doctor for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Three, then we're back to Tenant for some reason, and we'll find out more of that next year when the 60th <laughs> anniversary shows up. All right. Y'all, you guys ready? Y'all ready? Yeah, I guess- I, w- I was gonna I was gonna mention a rabbit's po- foot, but that's a human leg, a human foot. There you go, perfect.
Welcome everyone to Geeks uh, Reloaded podcast. I have like ten million names on here. I, I don't I don't know which one anymore. Joining me tonight is uh, R actually not is R Jables JB and James Jim as Jim, I guess. Hello. And I'm your host Cowboy Burrito, and off screen is my sister Jazz. Always. Uh. Yeah, there we go. She's she's off screen. She's she she's the uh, voice of the faceless. She's our tech person. There we go. Our tech. There we go. I like that. I wish I have a tech person. She's getting drunk off camera too. Yeah. Hey, cheers to that. Yay. We don't pairs. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, this is a payless job, honestly. Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for uh, so this upcoming weekend is the Halloween weekend. Uh, actually, next Monday is the is Halloween. Um, you know, we have everyone has their memorable, uh, memorable moments in Halloween. My question: I have a couple of questions actually. Since you guys, I've I've. I pretty much known you guys are uh, as the uh, as the horror gurus. If I wanna know about horror, I come to you guys. So my question, <laughs> my question is, my first question is, what was the movie that got in that got you guys into horror? Um. I'm thinking that one too. No, oh, like my bad. My bad. Day of the Dead. Day, day of the Dead. Yeah. Day of the Dead. So, the original Day of the Dead. Dead. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, one by George Romero. Oh, what? I think it's like. R. I. P. R. I. P. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a, like a really tough question. Actually, I have a deep memory of uh, going with my brother and my dad to the video store. There used to be a whole video store on the Montrose, and um, it, was just, <clears throat> it was like one of the last ones to, to be there. And they had like all the old retro VHS. It was all VHS there, and um, uh, they had like a whole horror section that was really cool. I remember going there with my dad, and my brother. So you go uh, check out an American Werewolf in London. Oh, that was like one of the first movies I remember okay. watching on VHS. I actually okay. saw the gun. Oh. Uh. Hold. Two. Hold on a moment. Tech. We need our tech guy. Uh, what? That that entire segment was like muted on my side. It. I. I don't think the mic picked it up. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you guys, but uh, I guess uh, hmm. I'm assuming you guys are using the laptop or the iPad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Zooming in a little bit closer. There we go. Let's see if that works. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Now I can hear you. Yeah. All right. All right. So. So. Maybe. Maybe. So we started. Yeah. <laughs> All so, right. Anyway, yeah. uh, American Werewolf in London. And uh, you said Day of the Dead. What about my sister? I know she's the tech person for today. What was her uh, first uh, horror yeah, movie that hooked her? In? She's thinking while chewing on a Kit Kat. Um, <laughs> I remember distinctly watching. The Exorcist, the very first one. Okay. That gave me. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me as a kid. Yeah. I mean, that was my first horror movie (laughs) ever. Demon face that pops up. Yeah. Uh I remember being upstairs in mom and papa's room. I locked the door so I can watch horror movie, and it was broad daylight. 
It still scared me. I just locked the door. So no one can <laughs> see her freak out. I actually don't remember this, so this is all on her memory. <clears throat> it could be fake, it could be falsified, fabricated. Okay, shut up. It's real. <laughs> it happened. Alright. Uh, what about you, Rainier? What's your uh, exposure to horror? <sighs> see, growing up, I was a little bitch. I didn't really <laughs> like I didn't really like horror movies because I mean it's horror it's supposed to scare you and I mean I was exposed to uh, Filipino horror movies which for some reason it's all about supernatural beings and like whether it's whether they are ghosts or the local supernatural beings like Manananggal or Aswang not mm-hmm. sure if you guys Aswang being the Filipino vampire in uh, saying that is an understatement, but it's pretty accurate. Manananggal. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Manananggal is like a lady who sucks on pregnant ladies and uh, yeah. only her upper upper body. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's uh, her body flies away, right? Yeah, the the yeah. upper body flies. The lower body stays. Wherever she splits. And to kill the monster, you have to find the lower half of the body and sprinkle salt so it burns. What? <laughs> this is a Filipino? Yep. Was it on that, that animated show on Netflix? Uh, I don't think Manananggal was on it, but I think Aswang were. Aswang yeah, was, but I don't think they mentioned Manananggal. Yeah, have some pretty crazy monsters. I think all we have is... I don't know. Hey, you know. <laughs> Unless I'm. This is she. She's Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Yeah, but uh. Mexican. Truth. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't even think that's like. I'm really ignorant about this. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Um. Well, I had the question earlier. Uh, it slipped. It's still related to the first question. Um, man, I'm a bad interviewer. <laughs> I am. I just had a massive brain fart. I don't remember what was the question. So I'll move on to the n- other kind of question. Um, what are, you, what, are you okay today? You seem like stressed. Me? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the co- the whole card thing. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, man, I should have written it down. I had like good question while I was at work, and I was like, I re- I'll remember all of this. Um, so I th- <laughs> I asked about your y'all's favorite uh first exposure. Oh, um. I'm not sure if it'll be different from you guys, but what are your all's uh, favorite horror movies? Whether it's classic or modern. Um, if you want to split yeah, it into two, go ahead. I don't know what you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Dang. Dang. Oh, is it? So uh, okay. So it's... it's, okay. it's a, You've seen The Thing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love The Thing. The Thing is amazing. Yeah. Except I still, if I I might need to rewatch the the prequel in order to uh, judge it better because usually I like the movie. Uh, I, my judgment is better when after the second viewing. Um. Uh, okay. yeah. Oh, you're talking about? Wait, which one are you talking about? Where, the, yeah, the, prequel. the prequel. The prequel. Oh. Okay. okay. The one that okay, was okay. uh twenty. What was it? Twenty eleven. Twenty eleven, yeah. Yeah, we're talking about the original, the not original, the first remake, <laughs> uh, which would be John Carpenter's The Thing, which is the was it eighty? I thought it was sixty. Either seventies or eighties. We just had the fiftieth anniversary. Like a, oh yeah, yeah, it's eighty two because it was the fiftieth anniversary. Oh, was it? Yeah. Just want to confirm or something. Yeah, it's eighty two. That one. That that's the one. That's like. Something our dad showed us way too young. All three of us, uh, uh, our sister Christina, JB, and I. Yeah, they, our dad like showed us so many, so many fucking horror movies when we were a kid. 
and like my you saw my brother Dawn of the Dead. Like I was like seven. Yeah, mm. and we would wake up, we couldn't go to sleep, and we'd wake up and he'd be on the couch watching TV. He's like, Yes, sit down and watch this with me. And you'd be watching like what, scanners? Video drone. Video drone. He showed us fucking video drone and we we're have you seen video drone? Vi- no. Dude, it, that it's, one's you should watch that one. I just say take a take some acid, watch it. Don't take acid, watch it. Uh, <laughs> it is, there's literally a point where a guy has a gun and he's shooting cancer into people. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, and then it's like a, he's like shoving a video chest and it's like the dude's stomach. Yeah. It's yeah. And then, I don't know, there's like so many weird stuff. There's also another weird movie our dad showed us was Altered States. Uh that one's pretty trippy. Yeah, um, these are movies you should smoke and watch. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this video in ta- uh, in inventory, so you know, when I go <laughs> back, I'll just look it up and watch it. Have a chill day. Take that uh, 250 <laughs> milligram edible. Oh my god! <laughs> Die, <Never> half- <laughs> Die halfway yeah. through the movie. You just about killed me. I, I don't think I've been the same. <laughs> Everyone was brought back to life. Everyone had a respawn timer. Dude, I think I'm yeah. still recovering. I, I respond. <laughs> I respond. <laughs> respawn. Everyone respond to uh, to their previous state with no uh, with no yeah. recollection of what happened because. I would never ever do. I mean, let's just say um, let's just say Halloween and affected us, us negatively, which yeah, that's uh, bad. Yeah. Really bad. It's like one I've seen that was like, oh, this is really bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Halloween ends? I don't oh. really remember what were they trying to accomplish in that movie. I... <laughs> even like, I did not even show up. I think I only saw him twice. I forgot it was a Halloween movie. Yeah. I should have known it was going to be bad, like the way the second one ended. The way the second one ended, I was. Evil dies tonight. Yeah, and then he got Evil stabbed so many times. Tonight. And he's like still alive, which I I get. He's always been kind of crazy. But the thing is, like, I like how the second movie started. I think mm-hmm. it was pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The way the the second movie started off super strong, and I was like really into it. And I like majority like, of it. But yeah. like the the ending just seemed super. The pacing was super weird. It just yeah, like, it's just. I felt like they ran out of ideas, and they're like, "Well, this is something that we can put." <laughs> It did kind of seem like that. I don't know. It just it just seemed like it was all over the place and didn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. But we can all agree that the intro scene with the kid was the best scene. Oh, that movie. shit was fucking hilarious, bro. It kind of got. He had it going. Yeah. I know it exactly. A... Every time someone mentioned and Halloween I'm... ends, that's what I always go through. I was like, that intro is the best scene. <laughs> I may get shit for this, but. That guy deserved to be bullied by those kids. How do you get? You're twenty something years old, and you're being bullied by bank <laughs> kids. He deserved it. Oh yeah, bank kids. Uh, oh, fucking man. seven, oh. ten year old. Uh, Bro, the way that kid died was hilarious. I'm just gonna say. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh yeah. We just That's laugh. The uh, Wilhelm scream. But yeah, though, like the guys, like. You said you like what twenty five at that point? Yeah, I think twenty one. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah, twenty five because a- it's four years after. Yeah, uh, so he was. Th- yeah, yeah, so he's like twenty five, and then there's like what seventeen year olds that are like fucking. So, with him? Yeah. Like, come on, man! Like, he's a fucking like. Like I get it. It's a small town, yeah, but come on. Guy, I would have shot them. And those kids are pretty fucked up, though. Like yeah. this guy murdered a child. Let's go fuck with him. <laughs> like I would. <laughs> Stay away from him. Like this guy's weird. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. In real guy, world, no one's gonna be like, <laughs> especially bank kids. You know, bank kids usually like on their own, not bothering. Man, that was, that was. I don't know. My my high school was kind of as backwards with that. It was like, uh, I mean, at least from my experience, at least like all the the jocks in my high school. Yeah. Super nice, super chill. Everyone was just kind of down to hang out. I didn't have any beef with anybody. It's the bank kids that were always starting shit. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around, flipping a job. <laughs> Stupid job. <laughs> I'm second straight. 
But yes, uh, that's that's our review of Halloween Ends. Uh, it was so bad. Our trips were bad. Went south really quick. To the point, to the point, we don't even remember what was going on or know what's going on, and yeah, we only know, we only know that um, Michael showed up <coughs> an hour, an hour and a half into a two-hour movie, which is bullshit. Oh yeah, because I remember we paused the movie and we still haven't, we still don't know where the movie's going. We haven't seen Michael Myers, and then it's already like an hour in. The first time we, be- oh, what was it? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I was gonna say that has to be like the longest uh, Halloween movie has gone besides Halloween Three: Season of the Witch, without showing Michael Myers. That's true. Literally an hour, an hour and a half in, and the first scene you see him in is in the shadows, holding on to another guy, you know, hiding away yeah. instead of yeah, that's, twenty minutes. That's not what he does though. He doesn't do that. Like I feel like it was weird. I don't yeah. know. What they're doing. That Michael was a little <laughs> pussy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a Halloween ends. Uh, not so good compared to the. F- and I would say 2018 Halloween and Halloween Kills started off really strong. Um, yeah, that's what it was like. I was pretty. Yeah, like the way the first one was. The first one, Halloween. Like, it was just Halloween. Yeah, yeah like, it's Halloween. Halloween. I thought like that one was damn good. I liked it a lot. I thought it was pretty cool. Like John Carpenter scored it. Did he score this? I'm not too sure. I don't know. I didn't feel like it had the same vibe. But anyways, like just the first one was good, and I was like, man, this is gonna be pretty good. And I thought they ended it like yeah, pretty good. Like thought it was done, and then they announced another one, and I was like, oh damn, they should have just ended it at that. I was satisfied with that. Yeah, like that should have been it. But like. It just went like 180. Yeah, and I was just like, bro, this. Is- that first movie was like, so it was it was great, like a good service to like Halloween fans, especially the scene that kind of mirrored the first scene in the in the original Halloween. Lori's running from him and screaming in the streets, asking for help, and then no one's helping her out. And they kind of mirrored that again in the first mm-hmm. one with the I forgot what her name is. True. No, the. Oh, oh Allison. Allison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where she's like running through the streets, screaming, and there's like that that badass score during that scene. Where it's like they, they use I think an electric guitar with a uh, uh, violin, like a, a cello. Was it? Thing? Yeah. Oh, a cello. they use that. Block. Yeah, they use that with an electric guitar to make that crazy ass sound. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded really, really cool and kind of set the mood for the whole. Chasing this is it's pretty badass. One thing is for sure, I really, I, I, like, I know I'm gonna get heat for this, but I never really enjoyed the original Halloween, but the fair, the re, the revived version, the 2018 okay. version, I became my instant favorite slasher movie. I thought it was really well done. Um, Michael walking down the street, killing people house by house. Perfect. That was, yeah, I was, that was like a whole one shot. Yeah, mm-hmm. it made it seem like the way he was just doing it randomly. He was kind of like a shark in water. Yeah, that's the way. He Super like random. Just, just fucking killing random people. Like, kill you? Nah, kill you. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Then he killed the yeah. couple in his old house. That was pretty yeah. gruesome. <laughs> but it was cool that everyone knows. I like how everyone knows who Michael is, and he's not just like an urban legend. It's like, oh yeah, you you hear about that spooky man, that boogeyman, Michael <laughs> named Michael. No, he's just like, oh yeah, you're Michael. Oh, you're- Michael Moyers. Michael Moyers. Michael Moyers. Michael Moyers. There's actually, I do like see people's like names at work and stuff. Yes, I'm not Um. Yeah, that's what I liked about like that one was with John Carpenter was smart and everything. Have you, you know John Carpenter, correct? Yeah, yeah, the guy who directed the thing. Yeah, yeah, like he's like does like great scores too. Like he scored a lot of his movies, and him and his son do music right now. And okay. like, yeah, like, his stuff's really good. Like, and they live. It's a movie he's done as well. That one's pretty trippy. 
and yeah, like the original Halloween, like that Halloween one, the original. Uh, they said it was like they first shot it without the music, and like they showed it as a screening, and they were like, "This isn't." Scary. What was it the producers? Like, yeah, I think they did the screening studio and some. Yeah, they said that scary. They just said, "Yeah, they didn't like it," and then. He swore it. it was it was him, right? Yeah, he that's yeah. he made the iconic uh, Halloween cool. theme and, uh, and yeah, he did the original theme and and then after they did it again, they were like, Oh shit, this is pretty this yeah, is I think like it's a good, good testament of like how music can really can elevate a scene. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that that's the case. I don't think you'll get too much heat for that. I think a lot of people say that the the ho- original Halloween's like not that crazy. I, I really don't think it is, to be honest. It's just kind of a landmark when it comes to slashers. It's kind of like the... Just the way it was shot, the studio, the way it was done. Yeah, I would say it's kind of like the... Um, if you want to compare it to like the Marvel Universe, it's kind of like Iron Man. Yeah. Kind of kicked off like a, a yeah. new little genre of horror, of like slashers and stuff. Because after that, that's when they came up with Friday 13th. It was legit as a competitor to... I mean, yeah, but... Oh, but Halloween yeah. is a far better franchise, and I would say that wholeheartedly because I did not enjoy the first two movies from Friday the Thirteenth. I was, I was just I like, this is so campy. They're, they're no classic. pun intended. So, they're a little weird. They're a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. The, the, the original classics. Friday the Thirteenth, like I like. It's just straight up just like showing, trying to show tits. It's really that. Yeah, it's just like exactly. It's like and, and drugs and stuff and people dying. That's kind of what. The whole attraction is to Friday the Thirteenth franchise. Yeah, um, you always gotta have a boot check. I'm my favorite kill in that whole franchise. I think it's the third one where this girl gets killed. Uh, she gets killed, and she's just sitting on a stump. Poor thing, just sitting there like having a break, having some lunch, and she's eating a banana. And she gets killed by Jason, and the shot for some reason instead of like focusing on the kill or anything, it just shows her hand where she's holding the banana. And it just squeezes the banana and it like comes out of the fuel and everything. It's fucking oh, the, hilarious. The cartoonish way. That's hilarious. I, yeah. I need to continue it. At least give it give uh Jason one more chance. Um I was a bit harsh, but I mean the first two, like I said, it, it was it was everyone's just trying to be a, sc- a scream queen without doing anything much. And no pun intended, campy, you know, just a random guy. Um, I'm surprised yeah. Kevin Bacon was in it. I didn't know Kevin Bacon was on it till like I s- after I watched it. But hopefully, uh, yeah. what was it? Uh, funny story, like with the Kevin Bacon. I remember when I was a kid, I was young, and it was like on in my aunt's house or whatever. We were watching it, and I was like, "Is that Kevin Bacon?" <laughs> and I was like, I was positive it was Kevin Bacon, and my cousin was like, "No," and I was like, "I'm, I'm sure it's Kevin Bacon." He was like, "It's not Kevin Bacon." <laughs> so like for the longest time. And like just later on, we saw it again, and I saw him, and I was like, "Motherfucker, that was Kevin Bacon." <laughs> and he was like, yeah. he "Didn't believe me." He was like, "No." Like I went years believing that wasn't Kevin Bacon <laughs> until it like was. IMDb was around yet. You know, the internet wasn't as good, yeah. So it wasn't like a great way of checking it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, when I finally got older, I checked it, and I was like, "That was Kevin Bacon." So yeah, I, I didn't even. I didn't even know Kevin Bacon was. I know uh, Johnny Depp was in Nightmare on Elm Street, okay, which is that that, that one I actually enjoyed. I think it was his first movie. Was it really? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. But, but kind of going back to that, yeah, I don't really consider it like Halloween. It's I, I consider it a classic and a a landmark movie when it comes to horror, but it's not one of my favorites. I think my favorite slasher. Would, Honestly, it'd probably be Scream. I was just gonna say. That's a good one. Yeah. I I enjoyed Scream. I enjoyed Scream. I I I enjoyed it so much. I watched the second one. I mean, and I was just like, eh, it's as similar as the first one. It wasn't too bad, but the first one was a classic. Yeah, it was Johnny Depp's uh, feature film debut. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Anyway, uh, you guys want like what? What are you guys' opinions about a new nightmare? Because I, 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 I thought that was my favorite Freddy movie. Oh yeah, 100%. that was a favorite Freddy. That was ahead of its time, man. Yeah. Put it on a 
meta shit back then. That, that's super the, duper meta. You Robert showed me Eden. that movie. And I, my my mind was fucking blown. I had I didn't have no idea about New Nightmare at all. I had told him about. And yeah, he brought it up like casually, and he's like, "Yeah, like that's like uh, kind of reminds me of, like New Nightmare, with, like how meta it is and stuff." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And he's like, "You haven't seen New Nightmare?" So he showed it to me, and I remember just being like, "So, like, well, what the fuck is going on?" The whole scene is she's like talking to Wes Craven, and he's like telling her like, "You have to be Nancy one more time." And the scene ends with like showing the script of that conversation and I was just kind of I thought I was high as shit <laughs> I was like, what the hell yeah I, uh, I guess that's the reason why I liked it so much it's really <laughs> meta and and Freddy it wasn't just like a goof was, wasn't the classic goofy Freddy he was literally a nightmarish version of Freddy you yeah know, like dude, haunting he people like, yeah he was just like super More demonic. evil he didn't have any like puns or anything like he did. Yeah, he was just straight up. Yeah. Just hunting down the original cast and the director and shit. Yeah. You know the, the scene you were talking about where Nancy's talking to Wes Craven? Yeah. Like they had originally what he had written, storyboard, was like uh, her talking to him trying to stay awake because we're all in this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, to stay awake he had cut his uh and he should like a typer and keep going. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. That would have been wild to see. Yeah, but they wouldn't just look at Wes Craven, man. R.I.P. Like, that dude was super ambitious with a lot of oh. stuff he was doing. A lot of, yeah, uh... like, you get on a screen. Like, that was meta in a way because it yeah. just called out, like, the horror movie genres. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. And I think he was the first to kind of, like, do that with, like, killing off, like, the. I, I wasn't the lead, but, like,. He, I think the marketing of Scream made everyone believe that Drew Barrymore was the lead of that movie. And, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I actually yeah. thought it was, she was, too. I I, yeah. I just... The first time I watched Scream was, like, a year or two ago. And I thought it was Drew Barrymore. And the first, what, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, dead She's Drew dead. Barrymore. I was like... Yeah, I was, she could have fucking... Very... Because <laughs> she's, like... Uh, I don't know, like what, like ten yards away from her parents when they're walking in the house, and she has the phone in her hand, and like he like he like crushed her windpipe so she can't scream. Like, why don't you just throw the phone on the porch in front of them, you dumb bitch? <laughs> like, <laughs> she's like holding onto the phone. She died holding onto the phone. <laughs> like, why don't she wasn't able to let that phone. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, the cops. When call they show the cops. You know, if you look at her hanging body, she's still holding. Them. <laughs> she's still holding the phone. No, I'm just kidding. I was in the middle of You could have lived. Mm. And okay. Being in Texas. Oh, yeah. Why Texas. did you have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it really a base in Texas? The the movie? Oh, uh, was it? No. Was it? No, oh, no. It was okay. a Cal- okay. no, no. Uh, California in the later ones. Let me see where it's based. Yeah, this is a lot of uh, research, you know, settings and. Easter eggs and references and different all sorts of uh, horror movies, which I I like, you know, like horror movies tends to yeah, be yeah. like very meta and yeah. Um, next, what was the? Damn it! I have another question and I forgot it again. Damn it, right here. I need to write them down, and I this one I thought about it like five minutes ago. Well. 40 minutes ago when I was in the bathroom washing my hands. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, here's a, a... Going back to The Thing and John Carpenter. You guys ever seen the original The Thing? No. No, the 50s one? I think uh, it's 50s. Like The Thing from the outer... Uh, from outer space or something like that? Which is the... Uh, what The uh, the Thing was yeah, based thing. off. Yeah, I think it's The Thing from Outer Space, like you said. I I didn't know that was that was supposed to be the original and if I remember correctly that was also John Carpenter. Yeah. yeah. No, that oh was, no 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 the original one, the old one. Yeah. That was 1951. That's actually what John Carpenter said was like uh, one of his like biggest disappointments about his movie because it actually got like poor reception when it first came out. It just it just uh, uh, it reached like cold status and that's oh, when the- it got. The thing from another world. Yeah. 
he was saying like that was what was most like kind of disappointing about the poor reception he got from from his movie was that the original creator from came from Get Up was uh said he didn't like his uh John Carpenter's remake. Um, oh. I was like, well, that's kind of fucked up. I haven't seen his movie, but I think John Carpenter. <laughs> He's at my boat. <laughs> right. I I remember watching the thing and I was like really f- impressed by the uh, transfer transformation effects. Oh, dude, the practical effects in that movie! It That's is cool. amazing. It's like way ahead of its time in my opinion. It's it's better than some of the stuff you see today. Yeah, exactly. And it's not like computer computer generated either. It's they yeah, literally it's all- molded it. They would literally work to make it. Yeah, and I think the only time they use some animation is like the final scene with yeah. The, the, yeah. the monster. Yeah, dude. Oh, this movie. Like, I even remember playing the game that came out after. Yeah, yeah. It, it was on. It was on PlayStation. Like PlayStation Two. I think I don't know. One or two. It was like PlayStation. No, it was, it was two. It and was that, two. And that game is canon too. Like Don Carpenter said that he accepts that as part of his uh, storyline. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the, it's canon. 2002 ah. released for Xbox, Windows, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, and the PlayStation 2. Oh no, GameCube and Game Boy versions were also planned but were canceled. Oh. Or at least that's what I read on IMDb. Pretty sure on IMDb they said the game's canceled. Could be wrong. So. Actually, hold yeah. on. Let's see, let's see. Don't come after me. <laughs> I never played that Works. game. <laughs> It's like, why were there so many infected people? Like, we already saw everyone die. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, there was like, I didn't I, don't know. I, was, I can't remember. I don't remember how the painting was. I just remember you told me that there's a scene where you, you go across the area where um, McCready and Child were, and McCready's body's gone. Set as a sequel to John Carpenter's 1982 film of the same name, uh, the game was also endorsed by Carpenter. Who has made a cameo appearance in the game? That is cool. You never really <laughs> see that. That uh, the movie is also based uh, is canon to the movie it was based off. You rarely, rarely yeah. see that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I haven't played the game though. That's pretty young. Apparently, it's it came out on PC. Version of it. Oh yeah, it's PlayStation Two, two thousand. How old were you? Shit. Oh, two? Yeah. I don't see it on Steam. I just looked it up on Steam. I don't know. I don't see it. Not Maybe later I'll I'll go into deep about it. Speaking of which, uh, speaking of like video games and movies, you guys ever seen the uh, Nightmare, not Nightmare, Friday the 13th video game? Uh, Is that the PC one? No, I, yeah. it, it's a it's a console PC. Uh, it was it's currently um on hiatus because the creator of of the Friday the Thirteenth franchise is just won his rights back. So we might see a better uh, a new Friday the Thirteenth movie very very soon. Friday Thirteenth movies or you? the movies? No, uh, he just he got his rights back from the. For the movie, so we might see those again as well. Um, what I was wondering if you've seen anything in relation of the video game of the same name, Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, I've seen some some videos of it and some streams of people playing it, but uh, I always wanted to. Is that where you're Jason? Yeah, you can be the Jason or the survivors. Campers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Guess what? I want to get PC. I feel like PC's got some. No, it's oh, on. Yeah. Uh, it's on PS4. <laughs> Four? It's on the PlayStation Four as well, but um, when it comes to like <laughs> updates, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I just don't play games as much these days. I want yeah. to. You just don't have the time. It's like right? we have a, we have a PS Four. It's so way PS Four is. So it's already packed on data, and we can't download it. We have to always delete, download, delete, download. Yeah, we have to get like a hard drive to like move some of the stuff up. Yeah, just, just I have PT on there. I don't want to. I want to delete PT. Well, I think if you can, you ever download it again, or no? if you you if you never uninstalled it, you get to keep it. Oh no no no! 
You oh, get to you if you ever got it, you can still download it or install it because I still have mine and I one every once in a while I check up on it to see if I can if I can still install it into my PS4. But I haven't done that in the past two years, so I might have lost it. So <laughs> So who knows? I love that. Yeah, that that game was. That great. was a creepy game. Like speaking, mm-hmm. of PT. and it's just it's, it, it's the same hallway too. That was like that was the best part about it. You just go around oh, and around and around, and around. We had to get the instructions like online. I think that's what he did. I, who the hell figured out how to get out of that game like without any? I had to figure it out. Look that up. Maybe I think did they have? I feel like they had to have written. How to pass it? Because. They had to have because that was so damn complicated. There's like four different. To get out of it too. Mm-hmm. Did you make me play that game? Maybe. I don't remember honestly. I think I made you play Because it was yeah, like 2016, 2017. It was such a long when, time ago. And she and I were just dating. And I was at my old place. Parents. And I like turned all the lights off in the room. Closed the door, it was like super dark, and I was like sitting in the corner just watching her play. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting ahead. for the lady to come oh. out every once in a while. Um, yeah. So, is it <laughs> true that Jason is a. Um, what's that term in. from. from. Uh, what was it? Evil Vincent? Dead? Oh, Dead Eye? Yeah. It, it, are well, they. Are they. Oh, no, uh, apparently it was uh, they're trying to make it like connect the two franchises together because the ne- Necron- so what was it? Necronomicon yeah. showed up in one of the Jason movies as a, like an Easter egg, Uh-oh. and then it was uh, it was mentioned later that Jason is a deadite. So I mean, am I, you know, am I? accurate with my theory probably not because I actually I just found that uh, that theory really cool but at the same time I've never really watched much of the Evil Dead stuff so not really quite I just, sure I just showed Janine the, the franchise the uh, trilogy of uh, Evil Dead she like it. It, I think it's a unique franchise too because it, it starts off Horror, pretty horror. The oh first yeah, one. that's right. Second, <clears throat> second one's like dark or like comedy, comedy, and then the third one's just straight, straight up, up comedy. comedy. Yeah, it's, it's just not scary at all. Did you guys and watch the TV series? Of, like, I did. Yeah, some of it. I I think I watched like the first season. I watched the whole thing, and it was actually pretty cool. And it ended in a way that I didn't expect, and it was pretty dope. Did you watch it, Randy? Uh, I've only seen like the remade version of <coughs> Evil Dead, and I heard that it was pretty much accurate to. Well, I mean, it's, isn't it by the same director, Sam Raimi? I heard it was a no. Uh, they were producers of it, so they were they uh, had a they had some great say about what they did and stuff. Like Actually, I like the remake too. Yeah, it's really it holds up, and I think. It, it stays true to like the whole basis of the original story. Just kind of does its own thing with it. Trying to look up. Uh, That's got some history. Yeah, I see what you mean right here. It says the Necronomicon, the, the Book of the Dead, originally, you know, blah, 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 Evil Dead. And it says the Necronomicon found by Steve Freeman in the Voorhees house, implying that it may have been the book, this book that gave Jason his powers. And according to that Shit. film's director of Jason Goes to Hell, Jason Voorhees is himself a deadite. I I thought that was a pretty cool connection. Is it is it possible? Maybe. Is it true? Up to you if you like to connect no, the I, comp, the two franchises. I, I feel like something. Yeah, different. as I say, like I hope he's a deadite because like deadites usually like talk and they're like super like they're like demons. They're like tools and stuff. They like talk shit and. Kind of like fuck with people while they kill them and stuff. Jason just goes straight for the kill. He's silent. Maybe he's like a demon that like inhabited Jason's body. Well, I think I put the others. Oh, demons, but they're like maybe they're like foot soldiers. And you have like the higher ranking. Demons. Maybe that's true. Yeah, sometimes like a higher ranking. There's a class yeah. system in the Deadites community. <laughs> yeah, the Deadite like, society. 
Oh, not too. Yeah, I like in Army of Darkness. So he's like in the pit, and like instead of like killing him right away, like the dead I did with the dude before him, she like just beats the shit out of him. <laughs> she just like lines up her fists and socks at him. <laughs> Do you guys think there will be another Freddy versus Jason or another type of uh, yeah. slasher versus slasher? I don't know, man. That was a weird time. You mean like yeah. an alien versus predator? Yeah. Freddy versus G. That was a yeah. weird time. That, yeah, that was, yeah. That was like. It's also like the Godzilla versus something. I mean, that was like a versus thing. Versus Fallout. That was good. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was like a monster thing. Yeah, but this was like horror movie, like crossovers. Yeah. You had what was the, like, the span of those two? Like maybe what? Five years apart? Nine years apart? I want to say yeah. Like ADP was probably like. I would say 08. AVP was. AVP year. Oh, damn, no. That was 04. That was 04? Holy fuck. Man. Yeah. 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 Um, wow, it's a year players. apart. Uh, see? There you go, man. It, it was, was a year. Time. And if I remember <laughs> correctly, they uh, made a. <laughs> Alright, here it is. They made the ring go against the grudge. Uh, really? It's always been like who, that with who would win. There's always been movies like that, if you think about it. Right. There's always like another movie very similar <laughs> that come out about the same time or being released. Like Yeah. Not to change movie genre, but uh Friend of Benefits and Yeah No Strings Attached. Uh, what is it? Volcano? And Dante's Peak. I'm getting Deep Impact. There's always like a weird. Don't forget the dystopian world. We have the um, Hunger Games, Maze Runner. Yeah, that was a weird. That, that's, I feel like that's, that falls into book adaption. No, like, this oh, yeah. no that, I feel itself. like that intertwines because, yeah, she's right. That's like dystopians were like, damn, they were making dystopian movies. But the that also book. falls into like people are just making book adaptions. Following, I, I want to say it was after Harry Potter, the success of Harry Potter. Oh, it definitely was. And then that's when they were like, let's start adapting books. And they did uh, Twilight, they did Maze, they, they did Hunger Games. Like, yeah, they did really yeah. And, and those, and those so books didn't need it. They didn't even need that. Yeah, they're fucking. Harry Potter they needed not two parts too. for sure. But. Don't get me started. Oh. <laughs> What yeah, if I tell? But anyway, <laughs> what if yeah, I tell you the? Uh, what if I tell you the Grudge versus the Ring happened twenty sixteen? What? What? Yeah. It was like a straight to video type thing. Cause no, the Grudge went yeah. to theaters, and that was in a way a recall in itself. And then the they, Ring. Hit. The, yeah. Oh no, this is based on the Japanese version too. So apparently it was the, the film was first teased on April 1, so no one believed it. Everyone thought it was just an April Fool's joke. But it was later oh, confirmed in December 10 to be a real movie. So I'm Oh, it's on Shudder at the moment. I, I don't want to uh who do you think would win with like without like looking at any sort of synopsis? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I mean, um, I take the Grudge because if you look at the Grudge, uh, the Jew on or whatever, the the Grudge. If you look at him, they she knows where you are. Whereas the Ring, you need like the the tape. Yeah, she goes. Got the power technology. Like on your phone or something. That's true. That's true. Kayako. That was the Grudge, though, because it traveled through phone as well. Did it? It did. Like, did it? I actually don't remember too much about the Grudge. I thought it was like a ghost in the house. So. No, no, it, no, it, it traveled, traveled all of them. Because I remember that one girl that got home and got her. Don't you remember? She's like looking. Grudge is the one that was like making the noise, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, she, uh, she, she. 
uh, she gets around by haunting the person. Let's say she got me. If I see, let's say, you guys in real person, she goes after you next, after me. So it's like reverse It Follows, you know? You guys remember that movie, okay. It Follows? It's she she, she just... She just... She sees you and she you and then it goes on. That's cheating, man. It's cheating. I don't like she, it. She, she puts least, a tracker on you. At least the ring, they have to go through, like, TV or something, you know? That's just cheating. You just but but yeah, but but if the if the if Sadako or whatever her name is, the girl from the ring, sees the grudge, could the grudge haunt the ring in the TV? You know, since that's where she dwells. <laughs> this is a good movie. It's, this is a, you know what I might watch this sometime tomorrow. Maybe I don't you know, know. There's another cool. I don't know if I don't. I don't remember if it was Japanese or Korean. Horror film, and they adapted it too. But as we do, we still the good shit. Yeah, and so like, there's a thing where like it's a guy and a girl, of course, and the guy's like in the beginning, he's like always talking about like he's feeling pain in his neck and like ah, and it's going on and things unravel and things pile up in the past that he was like hooking up with this girl at the time and she got it. Uh, Clingy to him, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, I tried to get rid of her, but she wouldn't." But then to finding out that like he kind of, I think, raped her with some friends or some shit like that. And he was a photographer, and he was like taking photos of when that shit happened too. And so, but the girl was being his girlfriend and her wife was being haunted at the time, and so she's like seeing all these like clues and stuff. So you think she's going crazy, only to realize you know that the ghost was like kind of like keeping her away from him and like fucking with him more. And then, like, he starts being, she runs off like a girl, gets away from him. I don't remember. I gotta find it. And then, like, he starts seeing the ghost, too, and he's freaking out, and he throws his camera, and his camera's taking photos. And when he looks at the photos, uh, oh, yeah, like I told you, his neck's been hurting him throughout the film. He's constantly like that. When he looks at the photo, you can see the girl sitting on his shoulders. Oh, so that's, that's why it's, you know, that's why he's been hurting and everything. That the girl's been sitting on his shoulders. That's fucking sick. This sounds familiar. This one. This say I'm gonna say. I find it. It's with Joshua Jackson. You know. Man, I just saw the poster for the Grudge, and then you gave me fucking uh, just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yep. I remember that. Yeah, Shudder. Yeah, Shudder is an 04 film. Makes sense because it's about the same time as like all these other movies. Yeah. They, were, they, they were adapting like Korean. Yeah, that was the thing. We were kind of like outsourcing. Yeah, not, not <laughs> like, the Mimic is also, Mimic is also, also copied. Yeah, oh, Mimic? This is yeah. Too? yeah, so it's a uh, photo- uh, photographer Ben and his new bride, Jane, uh, honeymoon into a working vacation. When he snags a prestigious, uh, prestigious assignment in Japan, as they make their way up into the mountain road at night, they sign into a woman who suddenly appears in their path. Unable to find her body, Ben and Jane continue on with the suit. Reminders of accident emerge when Ben sees ghostly images of photographs in the boat. It reminds me of the uninvited. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's not. Uh, it just sounds like I'm, I'm missing out on a lot of, like, <laughs> Potentially good horror movies here, because that sounds really cool. Yeah. What do you like consider like horror movies though, Rainier? Right do you like to consider it just like fantasy stuff where it's like ghosts and monsters and stuff, or would you also like include like uh, I guess what would be like thrillers with people? Oh yeah, yeah. Humans being. I I thought I actually thought when I watched the Black Phone, I thought it was. Yeah, I mean it's. It's not like completely <laughs> horror horror, but it's still like thriller horror. What what did you guys think? That I've always assumed thriller will be uh, falls under the horror genre, like a sub category, but not really a horror genre kind of movie. But you know, yeah, thriller. I would say it's like a horror thriller, or like I feel like a horror movie. Its main goal is just to kind of freak you scare you. Out. Yeah. yeah just- Right. Just like creepy and then, yeah. get your blood pumping. Yeah. 
edge of your seat, kind of like so, so, so. Yeah. Maybe so that's why. I, then, yeah. Maybe yeah, that's but, why uh, I'm not really a uh, really a big fan of slashers. Then, well, I don't know if now would I I would consider myself as one, but it it was more like they're banking on your reaction on the uh, the suspense and the anxiety that you know when let's say um, Michael showing up in not Halloween ends but the very first Halloween you know coming out of the dark then all of a sudden appearing on the other side of the house or the other end of the house uh, on the window outside the window you know maybe that that I uh, maybe I re- missed that but I guess that was my main thing with slashers yeah I get that. I would say, like, what's crazy about Halloween is that, although, like, I think it kind of, like, birthed the, the slasher one, I still think it's more horror back then. He okay. was, like, I don't know, I guess Jason does the same thing, too, where he, he's pretty supernatural with it. Where he's, mm-hmm. He got, like, stabbed in the eye, yeah, got stabbed stabbed in the neck, was shot, like, six times. I think, it's good well I think that's yeah. why it, like, made it, like, supernatural, yeah. because, like, that's what made it scary the first time because he was the first time that scene where Dr. Loomis shoots him off the balcony Mm -hmm. and then he goes to the edge and he looks over and it's he's not there and then the music drops and then he's just looking around and he's just kind of doesn't know where he went and it just makes it so like supernatural you know it's it's not a person the music too the music Stuff like kind of adds to that eeriness of it. Yeah, and then it's like showing each frame of like where he was been, and you hear the like the breathing of the mask, mm. like he could be anywhere really. Yeah, that's what makes that movie scary. Okay, maybe that's I'll give him a try. The final shot in the movie, so it's like it shows all the spots. Yeah, like just an empty kitchen in the night. I can uh, show the, the living room, room, the living room. The house. Yeah, like. Where he had been basically, and it's just like it's the shadows, and he was gone. And he could be anywhere. Yep. That's what makes it supernatural. That's what I'm saying. Like that one. What was that? I was saying that's that's what just makes that one pretty scary, as opposed to like other slashers, where it's just kind of like, oh, yeah. He shows up one side, then appears on the next. Um, I would say uh, the only. The only other Jason movie I've watched was Jason X. What that one? I where... Jason really cool when I was younger <laughs> because he had like that the mask. mask, yeah. Well, and they played that. Uh, that let the, let the bodies hit the floor, and I was like all young, and I was like, "Was that song made?" Really? It wasn't made for that movie. I think they just used it. Yeah. What, what, what happened? No, the only thing, like a lot of like being made for movies like uh, Slipknot song uh, My Plague was made for oh, it I love oh, okay. that song that song's tight <laughs> the only kill I remember from Jason X was the nitrogen bath where she he dipped the girl's oh, head yeah. and then conf- continuously that's a, pretty, that's a gnarly kill that was yeah. awesome I was like okay I'm sold I'm, I'll watch it one day so, I like uh, my favorite my favorite kill on Jason X is where he, they're running, he's chasing after them, and they give him a simulation of like two naked chicks, and they're like, hey, and oh, yeah. their tits. <laughs> and then it cuts to him, and he has oh. them in the bag, like fucking a girl's body into the tree. Like, <laughs> no hesitation, bro. He kills them. Like, I think one That's was like true. burning over the fire. <clears throat> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. That, that part I'll always <laughs> Um, all right, moving on from one thriller or uh, heading back into thriller. I know we're like all over the place, but that's the show. We always jump back and forth, yeah. different topics. We ramble on. That's why uh, the show is also called Geeks Rambling. Um, Final Destination. I mean, this just came up to my head because of, you know, the cur- the recent incident. And uh, the fact that it's, you know, we're talking about hollow, hollow, like horror stuff. <laughs> so I've seen the first three. Okay. I I'd say my favorite one is still the first one, because you know it was it was Devin it the first Sawa. one. 
the first one definitely yeah, gave me some some sort of like fear of flying planes for a while. Not to not a not a not a, a lot compared to uh, a lot of people. Just like okay, I'll be skeptic, making sure everything is you know nothing is wiggling during flight or something creaking okay. or take a, you know making all sorts of noise while in the in the middle of a flight. Um, also, it also uh, gave me the fear of the uh, you know the logs. The uh, the trucks carrying the logs. One thing I learned from that franchise, though, I'm on a plane or in traffic or in a roller coaster, and then someone's screaming, "Oh, it's gonna crash! It's gonna fuck up! Everyone's gonna die! Like, get off!" I'm just gonna stay there, and because I don't want it to be like two weeks later, uh, death, <laughs> chilling in my, and then like have a fucking maze of death. You know, <laughs> fucking kick over my Lego set that knocks over a bookshelf that <laughs> knocks my ceiling fan on <laughs> the toaster that flies across the room and into my bathtub. I don't want to be there for that. So I'd rather just fucking blow up in the plane in two seconds. Uh, so, one thing is for sure. I, I, I remember there was a death in that franchise where the lady made coffee, drank, uh, took a sip, thought it was too hot. Like, so she poured it out. And then um, she she added ice and and some like ice cold liquor. Put it on top of the fridge. I'm not the fridge. The TV. The mug is cracked. A what? Yeah, the computer. It was a computer. Put it on top of the computer. Yeah, I all I remember was a monitor. Uh, but yeah, it cracked and then everything. It just what? Well, I, did she get electrocuted or did it explode? I don't remember. It All exploded I and she got a shard in her throat. And I was happened. just like... The one in the, the wait, dude in the it? bathroom was fucking... That oh, one, was, it, the, was it the, the guy who, got, who choked on... Uh, what was it? Yeah. That would have pissed me the fuck off. <laughs> like that like, guy? Yeah. Like, honestly, all he had to do was remain calm, take off his pants... Step on them and get up. Cause that's why he couldn't get up. He couldn't get up because he was like fucking slipping. He had sweatpants on. And you're telling me you didn't think to like take off your sweatpants or like, come on, man. Stop. Right, at the very least, like what was it on? It was like floss or something, right? That was so cool. It was uh, the wire that had the. It was like a string wire for the curtain. Yeah, you couldn't push it off. And who the fuck uses a string wire? Yeah, weird. <laughs> very avoidable. Thing. I mean, There's so many things in the. Yeah. Like, I didn't see people having doors. It really made me have, like, a beam at the top that they use. Like, I've never seen anyone use old, a street wire. <laughs> For me, growing up, I've always feared, like, the whole... The mug cracking, causing an explosion, you know, domino affecting to a explosion was, like, a massive thing for me growing up. Then, you know, looking back now, I'm just like, man, that, that death was pretty stupid. It, I mean, it's plausible. Yeah. But it, yeah, it, it, it you need like a uh, shocking. You need like a small crack on the mug. You need really, really hot water or some sort of liquid in there, and then throw that out. Make sure the mug is still warm or hot. Then you dump ice cold water in there to shock it. Then it causes an explosion. But yeah, I was just like, yeah. that's that's no. what I thought too. Like she put it on top of the like we said the monitor. Yeah, I was you're gonna. Ex- like, yeah, no, I think it would just short out. Maybe it would be like it would short out, and then just, just fucked up your monitor. Yeah, <laughs> and blew up. And, like, and then another thing that's annoying is like, she of course you remember what happens. She like has a shard in her throat, and she falls down and pulls a napkin, and, and a knife falls in her chest. I, got, <laughs> I like how it all, that that amount of momentum to go back pierce that deep. Yeah, if they're not, like, impaled her as far down. Not enough to kill her, at least. Probably just, like, a, 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 like a half an inch, you know? Exactly. It probably would have been, like, pop poker and fell out. And then, like, ah. Uh, it went deep. It like, went, like, shot. And I went, oh. Yeah, it's like if someone fucking threw in that. <laughs> and, and then the other thing part is that uh, the main character comes in and then grabs a knife and pulls it out. Like, you idiot. Why would you grab the knife? Are you going to just... They're already thinking that you killed the, your classmates. I don't like it, too. I don't like the explanation for it, either. It was, they should have died, so death was like, 
constructing things and stuff like why couldn't he just give them a heart attack or something also he's dead <laughs> I, 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 like, I, like the first, I like the first one i guess it's more of a nostalgia thing but now looking at it none of it makes much sense also you remember how he builds the path he knows how everyone is and he knows oh okay we're supposed to go this way it was on the newscast the newscast show okay it blew up over here with this was and that's very convenient for the newscast to show how the plane blew <laughs> yeah. up. I don't think I've ever... Yeah, I don't think the newscast usually just, just like, announces it as an yeah, or whatever. Or a death, plane blew up, like, killed this much people. No, yeah, they, it's like an It's almost like they had an NFL broadcast. <laughs> like, look over here. I think where the fire started and moved its way and blew a little... Yeah. found a little pocket and made its way from Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> just shot right out that corner hole. <laughs> it, yeah, that was very good. well detailed. Uh, uh, a death path. Uh, death path. Yeah, I was like, it's death. You couldn't like touch that and be like, oh, cancer. I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, uh, heart attack. Heart oh, aneurysm. Yeah, he could. Aneurysm. Why do you have to make it so ominous? Like. They could have been standing right next to a bus that's about to go, and then just like, oops. Yeah, just fucking <laughs> shovels. Why do you make it so elaborate? Like, like he's, <laughs> let me, like, construct this. <laughs> like, no, like, he was just bored. I just imagine that, having, like, little minions, like, sir, why don't you do this? Like, we we're telling him, and he's like, derivative. I'm an artist. Let me make this elaborate. <laughs> I have a but, vision like, you guys do not. <laughs> Instead of just it like, just and you're dead, and you're dead. No, no, no. Here's an elaborate plan right. that you, can, you they might escape from, so I have to make up another plan to kill them sometime later. Well, the whole goal of that franchise, it wasn't supposed to make sense. It was just supposed to show some pretty gnarly... Do I have a question? You know how, like, they have permission before they, they yeah. die? Yeah. So, like, is there some, like, bigger than death? Like, you know, provides that information to those people? Kind of gives them that. Maybe Dead's is like the challenge. You're asking too many questions. <laughs> they never, in any of the movies, they never explain why the person gets it just happened. But yeah. to be honest, I do like one, two, and three of the Final Destinations. They're not great, but I do enjoy watching them. Yeah, and after that, it starts it getting a little bit. I was scared to get on a roller coaster for a while. Like the, the logs, so you like a truck full of logs. I still stay away from the cars. Yeah. If anything yeah. has a rock or whatever the back, I, I, I move away. I'm like, I do not want to be behind. I'm not yeah. even just following the stations. I've seen shit on Reddit. They're like, oh, I just narrowly yeah. missed my Real head. Real life stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, see, that shit happens. Like, nope. Getting away from that Getting cars. away from that person. Yeah. As a... As a, as a f- First hand experience kind of guy, yeah, same, same, yeah. <laughs> same. It's right. You're you're hearing. <laughs> Are you okay? You're good. If, if, if you guys hear anything from me in resulting that way, uh, just know, uh, death has a vision. They, he doesn't want any <laughs> other way. He doesn't want a simple aneurysm or a heart attack. He wants an elaborate plan. <laughs> That's he has a he has a death Talking plan. Shit about my movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has a death plan. Yeah, death path. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. This is final destination. Is is a cool concept. It's just that you know. After asking all these questions, you're kind of just like, that movie made no sense. <laughs> yeah. I've heard it in so many different ways that uh, killed them. I don't We just shove them in a traffic or something when they're standing in the zone. I don't know. I uh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of like having an elaborate death plan made by death what do you guys think of uh, uh, the movie It Follows we were talking a little bit about it earlier but um, I always thought that I, I liked it too but I just can't help making fun of the the whatever being it is 
being a sexually trans uh, being a STD sexually transmitted yes. demon well, that's pretty much what it was yeah. like it never really scared me I mean there was a jump scare there was some com- couple of uh, creepy moments where you see the being standing on top of a rooftop or continuously walking towards you no matter yeah. where you are um I think I would like I'd probably move overseas and then stay there for like does it go across water does, does it I, I I think it just follows you like like uh the grudge you know yeah. so what if you fall into a black walk- hole oh no because if you die it goes back to the person who was following beforehand yeah, I don't know, man. I just think I'll go across seas and move. I'll move overseas. This, this is if I had like money. <laughs> if I, had, I would, I would go across seas, stay there for like, I don't know, how long would it take someone to swim to Europe? Like a week, maybe. No, two but weeks. It, I would there for like three weeks. Come back, stay home for like three weeks. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> like, they're just stuck in this. <laughs> my, 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 my question is, I thought it wasn't a physical being because it was phasing through people, phasing through walls. Because there yeah, was like, it, one it, part it, where it, the guy didn't have the eyes. She, he just walked through the through their friends. I don't know why I'm, you know, having the whole arm movement going on, but... No, it's pretty... I think it's pretty physical. It's just invisible. Like it can't be seen unless you uh, pass it on. You know, had sex with that had it. I yeah. Think, no, so, I, think, I think every, it, every, anyone can still see it. Like, let's say the person you had sex with uh, passed it to you. I think they can still see it. Whoever's like infected can still see it. So I I thought that was so. I think it, they can. It, pretty physical though it has to go through doors it's like scenes where it was like trying to open the door and it like broke a window to get into the house i got it i have the answer Dinners. i have an i have an answer against the being you go into an orgy (laughs) 15 plus people and boom you pass it to one then it just spreads and you see the like the the a monster's face when it walks in like that. Uh, <laughs> hey. Alright, so you fucked him. Everyone face them. Then it sees there were twin there are twins who's so like, wait, did I not count you so, or was it that person? So I have a question. So, so let's say this person had it and then she fucks this other guy, right? And then this guy Finds another person and then another person. Another person. Is she going back around with the first person? Yeah. So how's that gonna work? Oh, it's paradox. It's stuck. He he gets it again. Okay. He, the, the, the the being will be like, "You're on my list." Well, not- but according to here, you're still on my list. You're actually here now. But jump to the line. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was a paradox because say someone has it, right? Like you said, they fuck somebody, fuck somebody, fuck somebody, and then that last somebody fucks the first person. So the thing's gonna kill that first person, right? But it's gotta and then it it goes down the line, right? It goes down the line. So it goes to the first person that they fuck and goes to the first person that they fuck. Oh. And, the they fuck. and then they can't go back to that first person because they already killed them. Yeah. So it's stuck. But they would all have to die. Yeah, no. exactly. Yeah, exactly. But it, Team, bro. Like, uh, you gotta, you gotta convince how many people. Are people? What are your people? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, here's a business proposition. <laughs> yeah. I have a yeah, business you're, you're proposition. Just, really going through. No, there are some fetishes out there that like want to be killed. Yeah, like chopping to pieces, whatever. That's what, a, a death pack like, orgy. Yeah, there's someone with that fetish out there. Like, all right. We're gonna have sex, but afterwards there's gonna be this supernatural being that follows you and is gonna try to kill you at all times. They're just like, oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> like, <laughs> just getting off. <laughs> they just said, just say no more. I'm in. This is like this is like Jim uh, Jim Jones. Like anything, you're just gonna be like, follow me, my people. We're gonna fuck, and then, <laughs> when we're all done fucking, we will all die. We will all be together. 
<laughs> we, we will all die by the end. The sex god. The sex god. They'll be like, <laughs> say less, say no more. I'm in. It's already <laughs> ready. <laughs> all, already ready for the for the deed. But yeah. sex god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, free was like, take me. <laughs> Man, that, that 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 movie was was weird. I remember watching, it and I was just like, "What is this movie?" I mean, it was nice, like everyone says, but it was you know, like like it's kind of what we were talking about earlier with that movie. That's like a how a score can be important because yeah, I never I saw the trailer for that movie, and like the score for it was what made me like mm, this movie looks crazy. Well, that made me want to go see it, and I watched it because of that. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. gonna add too. Like the soundtrack, the score for it was was really, really good. I it adds love to the, music the, the creepiness to it too. Yeah, it did because otherwise it would be kind of boring. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, would it, it would be just like, like a bunch of teens. And just like it would be weird. It would be like a really weird movie, pretty creepy, but it wouldn't be like as scary as it is with the music. Yeah, it was a. Yeah. It's a yeah. really weird sex ed. Uh, video in in high school. You don't have sex. You don't know if they have a super non <laughs> monster. <laughs> they don't always tell you the first time. You see this guy? He he had sex. Now someone's following him. It follows. Okay, I don't want that. But um, that guy had a pretty decent plan, though. The main character, the, the first guy. He's not the main character, but the first guy. He had a pretty decent plan. Uh, at least he wasn't like heartless about it and just like had sex with the hooker and then left, like the main dude in the movie. But I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It, it's ambiguous whether or not he had sex with the prostitute to buy them some time, but it, it made it kind of seem like he did. I don't think that he did. Yeah, I think he did to buy some time, but that's kind of messed up. But at least the the first guy at least had the decency to like do hey. it. He passed it on. He kind of like tied her up to where he she, she had no choice but to sit there and like watch so he could show her and plus I don't think he knew how far away the the thing was so he couldn't really like <clears throat> wait yeah he couldn't really just like, sit, there, sit there and wait so that's probably the next best thing he can't and then, foreplay yeah and then he like legit like laid it all out this is what's going on this is what you have to do and then like proved it to her and showed her and then that was it, you know? Like, it's fucked up, but... That's, like, the best way to go about it, I think. Because look at her. She, like, did what she had to do afterwards and stayed alive. And I think it's off his back for a good little minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think he's still alive, right? Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah. I was it, have wasn't there a scene... Where the 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 being turned into the dude's mom, or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was weird. I was like, what? I, I I remember watching it. I was like, what the time. fuck? I remember yeah, saying that. I was it'll... like, why did it change to his mom? Mm -hmm. And then it's trying to get on with the kid, you know, with the shapes kid. Or I don't know. I was just like, that's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, it was death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> with <laughs> the spirit is willing, the body is spongy and bruised. <laughs> oh man, what, 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 what? I was okay. Here's one. What is the oldest <laughs> horror movie you guys ever um, either attempted to watch or just completely watched from beginning to end? Because for me, it's the Man Who Laughs. The 1922 oh, Silent that. That's movie. That's what the Joker's Yeah, yeah. Is that what it, it, I never saw that one. It's, but it's a silent movie. Like, like I said, it's a silent movie. True. I mean, you all you get is like the the score and the facial expression. You don't really get um, the voices. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess mine would be a silent film as well. The oldest horror movie I've seen was uh, *Pen of the Opera*. Oh, okay, then, yeah. Yeah, that was one of the... That one's actually, I think, was pretty cool. It's a horror movie. It's like, 
he he gets one last scare at the very end because you know he's like the monster back then like the trope for the monster movies was like the town would run them out and like kill them and that's kind of what happens in Phantom of the Opera but like at the very end he's cornered because it's like he's at a river bank and there's the stairs coming from both ends and then he um he gets cornered because the town comes in from both stairs and he's in the middle of them and he raises his hand like that and the, the crowd kind of cocks back thinking he's got something but then he like throws his hand and it's empty and he just smiles and then that's when everyone like attacks him and kills him he got like one last scare before he was killed that was actually kind of I like the opera. I think it's a really good story. Makes me kind of sad. Like, yeah, I think I think he killed some people. <laughs> I mean, he did. He yeah. did. Don't yeah. get me wrong. <laughs> His story. Yeah, I never, I never really got. Actually, I've I've seen it a couple of times, but never really finished it. So I never really passed the first five oh. ten minutes. The Twilight Zone. That was the original. Wait, what? Twilight Zone series. I would say mine is a uh, house on Hunter Hill. Oh, yeah. That one's uh, 1950. What psycho? That's 60s, right? I think it is. Man, Daisy keeps working, and it's kind of, you know, being, freak me out. being alone Psycho's in a big house. Yeah. It's 1960. Oh, really? Psycho's a good one. I think that one holds up, too. That is pretty creepy. <clears throat> that was after Hitchcock, right? Yep. So, those are like the, the the titans of horror. You know, you got um, Alfred Hitchcock. You had uh, Vincent Price. I want to say back then, like I want to say like this old icon of horror. Those are the main two that Vincent Price, uh, Alfred Hitchcock. I'm trying to think of, like who else. Do the, I can't even think. Those are the main two I can think of. The old ones? Yeah, like the G's. Um, Vincent Price is pretty cool. <laughs> Which one are we talking about? Baby? Talking about Vincent Price. It's like OG horror. I actually don't know like a whole lot of the stuff, but the stuff I do know is pretty cool. Uh, he's referenced a lot. So I have a question. Uh, I've I've asked this to a couple of people, but um, in terms of like Halloween themed movies, obviously we consider horror movies as part of it. You know, do you guys consider movies like mm, like a, a vampire movie or a werewolf movie sort of thing? Let's say um, what was that movie? Evolution. Was that Evolution the one with the vampires versus werewolves? Would you guys consider oh, uh, that as like a Halloween yeah. themed movie since it's monster versus monster? I kind of see it more fantasy than. I see it more, yeah. I see it more action, anything. Yeah. What are you talking about? What, what is that name? What's, what do they call it? Again? Like it's. The name of the movie. Oh. Evolution? Is it Evolution? Alright, time to uh, research. It is Underworld? Underworld! Underworld. 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 Because one of the subtitles is Evolution. I was like, I think there's Underworld Evolution, like in yeah, yeah, yeah. The subtitle one, but oh yeah, yeah. Right. Underworld. Yeah, I see. It's like, like Jimmy said, it's like action fantasy type, like fantasy world. Yeah, I want to see that more. Because it doesn't really have like any of the build up of like it's trying to scare you. It's just more or less like, hey, there's monsters and yeah. they're fighting. And then, like, there's romance, too, so I think that kind of even feeds more into, like, the fantasy aspect of it. Fantasy always has, like, a tinge of romance, usually. Okay, uh, okay. So, yeah, there's, like, the whole romance thing to it, so I think it's more fantasy action. Um, but it, it's not considered as a Halloween-themed movie like, let's say, Hocus Pocus yeah. or Halloween Town. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's... Uh, Those are Made more movies. <laughs> 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 those guys at least got witches and trick or treating. Yeah, and that's true. I yeah. mean, ah, uh, okay. Speaking of witches, uh, you guys seen the witch 
And uh, you mean the bitch? That's the bitch. The bitch. Double V's? I don't know. The I always. Is it really? Oh. Is it because how they uh, wrote the W? It's like two V's. Yeah, how to pronounce the bitch. The bitch. Yeah, it's two V's. And I actually just watched it recently. Like Janine showed it to me because I hadn't seen it the longest time. And, yeah, I don't... Um, and what was that I mean, ending? You know, I I would have came in with that too. Shit. Yeah, they were flying. I want them to fly. Fuck it. I don't know. My whole family's dead. I might as well just hang out with Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Did the goat kill her dad? Yeah. I oh, honestly do it. not remember because it's been so it's like, been a while. Yeah, it's been a I while for me too. Parents, how did they die? Uh. What? Something to do with the goat? No, the goats were the the kids, right? The kids are fucked up, man. Those kids are annoying. Kids. Kids. I'm gonna kill them too. I think they were like. Man, my sister is on a killing spree when it comes to kids, man. You know? Yeah, she just, she, it she just sounds like... Like, just sounds like, like in Halloween <laughs> Ants? Yeah, fuck that kid. Okay. The Vivich. Fuck them kids. Her main... Her her mantra in, in life is fuck them kids. Uh... Yeah, I mean, but seriously though, fuck them kids. They were being really annoying. <laughs> like, I think they were actually talking to the goats, and during the pilgrims back then, goats are symbols of especially black goats. So, yeah. So. Pretty yeah. mellow, them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Moving on from one witch movie to another. Hereditary. Actually, before that, do you guys ever seen uh, all if um all if not most of paranormal a- activity movies? I only saw like the first two. Same. I know it got like all witchcrafty, and there's like a whole cult. Yeah, it's like a whole storyline that ties into the first movie. I did my research one time. I didn't watch all the movies, but I I saw like the first. Two, yeah, and then uh, I got kind of curious about what happened after because I knew they all the other ones tied into it, and so I like I read up on it. It's actually pretty cool, but I just think the movies are like that. Yeah, yeah I, think... I, don't... I, I guess... don't like the. I don't like the idea of just like kind of watching a movie from. Yeah, yeah, no, like what I thought was kind of cool is what, what I read up on. I didn't see it, but like on one of the later ones, it. He's like uh, kind of going through time, like at certain points, because he's like in a haunted house or some shit like that, and the cult, like whenever they open doors, it's going through. The- oh. And then so he's ending up at like different moments of the past movies, and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's kind of. You talking about uh, which one you That's paranormal. Yeah. Oh yeah, apparently, uh, I just remembered this because I remember watching. Actually, I've seen most of them. All like the first six. Actually, I've seen all, the six of them. There's six. There, there's seven. There's what one the in. Fuck? Yeah, one of them came out last year. Only, but it's only limited to uh, Paramount Plus. But I have seen I the. F- I have seen six of them, and I remember, in the fifth one, uh, the main guy was possessed and was sent back in time i think it was he was sent back in time back to the first movie and he was he was one of the uh uh cre- i think he was the the demon that they saw in the movie i don't know it's been a yeah. long time that's what i saw it was something like that that i i, I found yeah because and, i know uh, I thought- Either he got he teleported back in time or he just teleported because I know three is the very first one. Um, yeah. Then this the, guy, I don't know. Tech, I'm a sucker got... for like time travel. It's like the sci-fi nerd part of myself. Or like, yeah. like if, they, if they make that work in the storyline, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like in uh, Insidious two, um, 
I was actually super into that movie. I thought that it was, was pretty cool. I thought it was dope. I thought that one was like more cool than scary because, do it because he's in the afterworld or whatever. He's like stuck. Yeah, and then he's like, there's no time there, so he comes across the house and he like breaks the door open. And then you realize that was the reason why the alarm went off in the first movie when the door came open is because it was the husband's ghost, like he was alive at that point at the same time. Like, yeah, man, I, so I need to re I need to rewatch Insidious. I don't remember that, <laughs> but at least the second one uh, for sure. I think there's, there's I, no, there's, there's four. Is there four? Insidious. Four? Let's see. Yeah. But yeah, there's the first two. I think. I know about that family and then the third one is Clarice. Yeah. The, f the right. fourth one was The Last Key. Came out in 2018. <laughs> oh, okay. That's right. That's right. But I don't think that one's... <clears throat> is that one really tied? I think the only thing that ties in too is the, the character of the, the medium. Uh, that girl. Oh, yeah. She the old died. lady. Yeah, she, it's a third she one. Died, she died in the second <laughs> movie. Uh, I think the, the third one was... A, she died in the first movie, but in the third one, in the it second, third, fourth, yeah, one of them's a prequel for one. That's the third she's one. In it, yeah. Yeah. And then in the other two, she's a ghost, but she's still there as a medium, like cupping out. Yeah. Man. Like especially in the second one. Oh, James Wan. Cool. Oh, James Wan. Yeah. Good, good like horror it. movie guy. Yeah, I like it too. Saw we from him we got Saw we got the Conjuring Conjuring being my favorite uh, horror movie because it actually did its job for me. Yeah, Conjuring scared me because I had to drive. Home. The first Annabelle got me with. I was going to say Annabelle's pretty tiny. That's actually. I, I like, think that one. Damn good jump scares in that movie. I like uh, I Annabelle Creation a lot more than the first one. First one, I like you said, it relied on jump scares, whereas uh, Annabelle Creation, which is also by the way directed by the guy who directed Shazam, um, really? Yeah, he directed Shazam and he also directed Annabelle. So when I when I heard about him directing Shazam, I was like, I am down because I love Annabelle Creation. Because he set the tone and the atmosphere yeah. together. I don't like jump scares usually, but that was it was good jump scares yeah. in my opinion. Annabelle, the first one. Bruce Wilde was like very shocked. I did know they the director of Annabelle did Shazam. I thought you said the director was the director of Kazan. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, really? That guy where Shaq plays a G. Yeah, I don't think was like, I don't think that guy directed anything, and he directs. I both. That was a pretty good one. Like, that would be too directorial to me. You're like, damn, this guy is good at horror. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, <funny>. Zam. <laughs> I was like, so chopped. I was like, really? <laughs> like scary movie. He was like, what's your favorite scary? Um, Sam, you know where Shaq plays a genie. <laughs> it's not a horror movie. <laughs> you haven't seen uh. Shaq act. <laughs> <laughs> what about those? Have you seen the, the scary movies? Uh, scary movie one, scary movie two. I've only seen a little bit of four because of the whole uh, whole the, the whole saw segment with the doll. By the way, do you guys know what the doll's name from Saw? Uh, the Jigsaw doll. Uh, you know, Jigsaw is the name of the serial killer, but. Uh, no, I don't know the name of the doll, actually. The no. doll's name is John Billy. Uh, I was thought it was Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I'm right. Uh, I remember uh, it was on... My my sources is Warzone here. But when it came, when the skin came out on Warzone, everyone was like, the doll's name was Jigsaw. And everyone was like, no, the doll's name was Billy. I was, I was going to say Jigsaw, but I was like, I thought yeah, that's too much of a no, that's his actual name. Billy, commonly known as Jigsaw or combined name, Billy Jigsaw is a puppet that has appeared in the Saw franchise. I want to rewatch the Saw franchise because I heard that they all tie into each other. And I've all seen like... all you know of them. Who like... I've you know seen. Who like... It's Jenna. Jenna actually like the Saw series. I saw like the first six. 
but I, I don't remember what happened. I stayed on one. It was at you and Michael. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We stayed up to like five in the morning watching like Saw movies. One went in and we were just like, so one and watch the next one. <laughs> and we just like stayed up to like six Saw movies. That's late. <laughs> That's late, yeah. So, so for me I've actually seen all Saw movies except for Spiral and I actually went through all and I know I remember this because it was like a few years ago I was like I'm gonna watch each day for, for October I'm gonna watch a hor- horror slash Halloween themed movie you know so technically this is falls under thriller slash horror genre I watched yeah, them all. I, I mean, but, that was like a genre that popped up too. I think like it's like pretty much torture. Yeah, two thousand four. Yeah. That weird era it, again. It's it, weird yeah, era. It's like gore. It was a like gore horror that like popped mm-hmm. up. So it was just like yeah, it's like all gore. That was like Saw and Hostel were like the two main ones that that came up. And you had like I don't know, with like a cat and fever kind of. Like, it was mostly just kind of gross. It was just kind of like bloody kills. Torture porn. Pretty much. But, um, but yeah, it's a... Uh, it's funny how the Saw franchise worked because if you just... Like, I find the story interesting. It was It's just that the killing is just all fluff. You know? It's not... It, it, not, it doesn't really tie into the main story. Sure, the main guy ties back into the main story, but... Every, the side characters, you know, they just happen to be there. Unlucky. Sucks. Yeah. There's some but, cool scenes, though, man. Oh, I think yeah. one of my favorites is like the like, emergency tracheotomy the dude performs on himself with a pen because oh. he's, like, drowning. And then he, like, uses the pen oh. to, like, open the airway. And mm-hmm. then, oh, that's fucking smart. I would have just died. I would just my dad. Another I don't think I would have thought. I remember, uh, I think the first five Saw films are actually very connected to the point where they actually killed off Jigsaw's wife. Those poor spoiler right there. If you, know, yeah. if, you, if you guys care about the Saw franchise, you know. But, um, and it's funny how oh. they, you know, you guys remember how there's being, being uh, two Jigsaws, the original Jigsaw and his protege. I always feel like yeah, this. I, I remember that. I always feel like this his protege but then he had another protege that was watching the other protege exactly no no exactly that's exactly what happened and the only reason why he got caught is because and and this is what they said was that he was too he was either too brutal (coughs) or he was too messy whereas jigsaw himself he doesn't if you notice the kills from in between the original jigsaw and his uh protege he doesn't do the killing. He always lets them tr- uh, survive. Whereas the yeah. new guy always, like... It's he, like an he, unwinnable... I mean, you can still win, but you ha- it, it will definitely cost you a lot. Like, you either, you know, bleed to death or something. But it, there's a, it's more gruesome than the original Jigsaw. Whereas the or- original Jigsaw plays you psychologically and just like um, pretty much just mind torture you until you give up and then after that it just uh, after the fifth movie after they tied it all back together I mean it, it was just like oh hey here's a, mo- a Saw movie with characters that you know that had encountered Jigsaw himself before the first Jigsaw movie yeah. Uh, I didn't see that one, man. I've seen the the Hostel movies, but like I was, uh, I never really like watched the Saw movies from beginning to end all the way through. It's been a long time since I've seen. Yeah, same. I saw like the first two, but then. Yeah, I kind of give up because I think it was after his granddaughter. See, like I didn't fucking know they like had a little family and like wife and shit. And yeah. So I was like, all right. Yeah. I like the first. I mean, the first one is directed by James Wan, so everyone. I mean, it's according to Rotten Tomatoes, forty nine percent, but it's still the best one. 
in my opinion. Yeah, I believe one of the uh, writers that helped him write it was uh, one of the, the guys that was stuck. Back. Yeah, yeah, the guy who got left behind. Oh, by the yeah. way, um, remember that cop who cut his leg off? He survived. Yeah. He showed up in the fifth okay. movie. He became Jigsaw's, uh, the other protege that watches his other protege. Because, yes. it, it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So apparently after the first movie, you, you saw him crawling, you know, get like, you, I got to get help. I'm, I'll be back. I'll be back. And then Jigsaw stands up, you know, like from being dead. And he found him on the floor. So, hey, I'll help you if you become a protege, yada, yada, yada. Later on, you know, he, he was tasked to keep an eye out on his other protege that like the uh, uh the girl both both of the, two, the paper, really? yeah and the uh the i think he was a cop f- from the other movies the other protege that was too messy yeah just keep an eye out on them see what happens and then uh I, he also mentioned that if the the cop goes after his wife uh the guy he saved his hit it his his third there's a lot of protégés in this movie <laughs> <laughs> it's really I, I, I'm explaining it I'm getting confused I, I remember it was, it was just like at one point he had a protégé that protégé was like killing people wasn't like making it winnable like everybody was dying and so he reveals that he had another protégé that was watching that one and then that protégé that killed the second one wasn't doing well, or was like also fucking upset from doing things. Realize he had a third protege that kills that one, and I think it goes on and on. Oh my god! And then now we got Chris, uh, Chris Rock in uh, in Spiral, a Saw movie, which I still have yet to see because I'm actually curious. It's set in the world of Jigsaw. <laughs> Never seen it. Yeah, all all I know is that it's it's in the Saw franchise and it has Chris Rock in it. That's all I can know. That's all I know about the movie. Is that the new witches? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't watch it. Uh, I didn't watch it just because I, I like it was like five minutes in and his voice is the narration mashing him. I remember when I was a little boy. And I was, uh, <laughs> yeah, you throw. just hear Chris <laughs> Rock. <laughs> he plays. He plays that up for like a lot of. Them. He's just a really genuinely up. funny guy who can't really do serious stuff. And yeah. the original way, the way she narrated, which is you know. Yeah. yeah the, I was gonna have full of it. I don't know. After the Oscars, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a watch you now. <laughs> <laughs> one, one day, one day. Hey, maybe sometime this week. I don't know. I I kept telling myself, I'm going to watch a horror movie today. Nope. I want to show you the scary movies, man. You got to come over and we'll watch the scary movies. Minus the gummies. Minus the gummies. Okay. Just, I, I was about to say, get high, get drunk, and watch uh, uh, just normal scary weed. movies. Normal, normal no, weed. Normal, normal weed. No uh, 250 milligram. Uh, you are the only one allowed to bring any of that. Yeah. I, 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 I was about. I, I I was honestly going to offer to people during the party, but I was like, <laughs> they gotta go home. They gotta have fun, and if they get sick, I don't want to be feeling bad that everyone is now you know t- trying to take care of them, even though there were multiple people who yeah, got no. drunk. To Let's the point of throwing gave, up. I was. I, I was. Before. I I was joking it. I was joking around with it. I was like, "You want some?" And it was like, "Nah." I was like, "Good. No, I'm not gonna give you any. Not tonight, anyway. You're here to have fun, not to pass out, die, and uh, get resurrected several hours later. Like you know." I mean, like I said, there were people who were fucked up in that party, but I- imagine that, that, so that huh? Those gummies last a long time. Oh yeah, 
I ate one around the same time, like same time as you and my sister, and I still felt the effects the following morning. I went to use the bathroom and I couldn't even. I was like, "Whoa, I can't see I think, shit." I, I think the throwing up helps to sober up. <laughs> just getting it out. Like, it just out got. The next day, I was just tired. I was just really tired because. Yeah, it's it's an energy it, drainer. We had yeah. vaccine. We had and plus, vaccine. we had a vaccine. We got COVID, the the booster shot, and the flu shot. Yeah. Ah. So it wasn't a good weekend to like do the gummies because they're already hurting. Yeah, we're yeah. already like super drained. Yeah, everyone everyone was like throwing up or about to hit hit the sack, and I'm just over there uh, eating pizza, dipping it on the birria uh, soup. I was just eating it, dancing, chilling, uh, vibing to the song on my headset. I was just like, hell yeah. I look around, everything's <laughs> dark. JP's passed out on the couch. You guys were in y'all's room. Or one of you guys were in y'all's room and the other one's in the bathroom. I was like, yeah. <laughs> this, this, is a, this is a weird night, but I'll take it. I'm vibing. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I, was- I always remember laughing because it was all chaos and everything. You know, running around, throwing up and shit, freaking out, and then radio's just standing in the middle of it. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get. I'm just apologizing. Like, you guys yeah. need help, and then like I wanted to help out, but like you were mind, also messed up. <laughs> you were like, also so fucked up. up. Like in my head, like that's why I was telling Jimmy what to do. I was like. Babe, do this, do that. I couldn't move for some reason. I was like, I can't, I can't move. Babe, go help them out. Do this, babe. My favorite one is, uh, my favorite one was like, everyone won't be talking. Then all of a sudden, you'll just hear James go, "Hey, am I shouting? Am I yelling?" I was like, "No, no one's talking <laughs> right now." <laughs> yeah, dude. I thought I was like the entire time. Thought. I was like, no, no, you're good, you're good. Every, uh, we're talk- everyone's talking inside voice. No one's yelling. Or no one's talking. Yeah. It was weird. My mind was on a weird spiral, too. I was thinking, like, the weirdest, most depraved things ever. And I was like, I'm not saying this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just doing, like, saying little things, like, whispering them. Like- yeah, I had schizophrenia over that night. <laughs> I was like, see... <laughs> I was just saying random things like making great Yeah, it was a it was a cr- it was a crazy night. It was a crazy night. That was a fun night. That was a horror movie. That was that, that, that should have been a horror movie. <laughs> I, I I still blame Halloween ends, and the best part is we never really saw the ending <laughs> because we stopped the movie right before it got to the ending, and we never picked it back up. We paused. Yeah. Because ev- everyone was like, uh, that's when chaos happened. And we never that really took it back up. Oh, no. It wasn't a good thing at that oh, no. It was really weird. It's like sober. And, it's like and, then, the- and then the anxiety of, you know, waiting on Michael f- to appear two yeah. hours into the yeah. movie. Yeah. It was weird. It, you know, it causes your anxiety levels to go even higher than you were. But yeah. Yeah. That was just a that was that was that was scary. A terrible. So scary yeah. Night. Don't don't uh take edibles while watching a horror movie. It's actually a I I have each, a, fun but to just just don't do a 250 milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair, fair. I should yeah, actually people, Yeah, bro. I told I told some of my friends, like my high school crew, and they're like, Janine, 250? I was like, I only took half, and they're like, still, that's a lot. That's Why would you do that? I, I, yeah. offer, I offered it to my... <laughs> I I offered it to my buddies during my party, and I still have yet to ask them how they felt. Because I was like... Because they were saying the same thing, you know? I was like, man, I smoke weed every day, blah, 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 blah. I was like... But I mean, sure, this is Delta Eight, but I know people who have said 
Delta 8s don't affect them and next thing you know they're on the floor you know or <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Those old movie, they only hit me for like good five minutes. But that Delta 8 one, bro, it hit me. Like, I would say this though. I would feel safe if someone's like, oh, do you want to take these? They're so crazy. They're 30 milligram. I should have <laughs> offered. I had 10 milligrams too, and I should have just offered that. I should have just Why offered. Why did you that. offer 10 milligrams instead? <laughs> I forgot. Well. I forgot. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I forgot. I don't. I don't remember the reason why I offered those first before the uh, the lighter ones. I think it's because I, I like how this. I love the uh, podcast is from a horror podcast to a Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I remember. It was JB. He was like, he was like, man, Delta Eights don't. Aff- I don't feel Delta Eights. I was like, so you want to try it? He's like, yeah, I'll do it. Then he looked over to JP. You want to try it too? And that's where the chain happened, and then and like, everybody took it. And I, I'm actually <laughs> happy I took it yeah, later on. Yeah, I feel bad for Jimmy because he didn't really have time to like experience it. Yeah, my my peak happened at like five a.m. Yeah, I was, was already asleep, and I was like, "It's was, okay, baby." And I'm doing the insidious thing, like follow my voice, yeah. follow my voice. I thought that's what you were doing. <laughs> Going back to horror movies, he was like saying, "Just follow my voice, <laughs> listen to my voice." <laughs> because I was like at five a.m. and I woke her up and I was like, "I can't feel my body." <laughs> I really felt like I was in like a sensory deprivation tank, and I was like freaking out. And I was like, "Oh my god, I can't feel anything." And it, now imagine, I like, now imagine having fucking sleep paralysis while you're at your peak. That's some that, scary shit. That would be some scary ass oh. shit right there. You won't, you don't feel your body, you know, and you just see fucking giant ass shadow right at the bottom of your feet. I had some pretty just scary ass sleep paralysis a couple times in my in my life. <laughs> I'm surprised and, I still uh, haven't gotten any. That's some scary shit. It's, it's scary. Oh, I believe it. it. Um, <laughs> Jimmy, you still haven't gotten it? You haven't experienced it yet? Same. I've, I've experienced it. Problem, but Jimmy, I've experienced it, but Jimmy's sleep paralysis is terrible. At least for me, I couldn't open my eyes, but I know they're right next to me because, like, for some reason, I feel the bed going down. I feel like they're walking around me. Sometimes they even talk. Yeah, no, mine was like super vivid. It was I was sleeping here on this couch, and I was just taking a nap. It was like my day off, <clears throat> and I was like, "Dude, it's my day off. I'm just gonna nap all day. I'm just gonna chill." So I was napping. It was like two in the afternoon, <clears throat> and then I was just on like passed out on the couch. And then, uh, yeah, you know what it feels like when someone's like walking around, you yeah, know, like you're on the couch, kind of hear the ground moving and stuff, their footsteps and everything, and. So that's what I could hear. I thought it was you. My, my brother and I both work from home. He was in the room, his room working. And then uh, I, I figured he was just walking around. And then uh, I started hearing a voice. I wake up. <clears throat> no, I haven't woken up yet. Like, my so clothes, but I'm aware of, like, what's going around. And uh, I hear a voice. It's, like, talking shit. It's, like, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> like, it's, like, saying, like, look at you. Because that's what I would tell him. Yeah, I thought it was JV talking shit. And I was like, because <laughs> I heard him like, oh, 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 look at you. And then I remember, like, thought, thinking it was my brother. <laughs> and I remember I was about to wake up and be like, bitch. But uh, I woke <laughs> up and say? I couldn't talk. I woke up and I couldn't talk. I like, oh, that's what's happening now. <laughs> as, I, as it was going on, he sees me walk in the kitchen. So. <laughs> <He's outside. laughs> yeah, legit, man. It was, this is one of the scariest things. I could still hear it, like walking around, like back and forth, pacing behind the back, like just out of sight. Mm-hmm. But I could hear it, and then it was just kind of like ugly, so ugly. Look at it, oh, piece of shit. Just thing like that. It was like a deep voice, it sounded so fucking evil. I was like, oh god, and I woke up. Man. Yeah, that was scary shit. Maybe there's a reason why I never experienced it because I always say that to myself every day. 
they can they they can affect me if I'm already affecting myself. Yeah, you know? that that's that's a you know insightful thing. But yeah, I. I mean, they didn't they do that on that Netflix TV show? <laughs> didn't they do that for that Netflix show? The what was it, Hunting at Hill House or something like that? Where they get the, the <laughs> sort of yeah, that was actually pretty gruesome. Uh, fucking crazy. Yeah, I like uh, that show. Joe. I still need to see the second season or the second. Show. Oh, Black Manor. I still I, like the first one. I haven't seen. Uh, it's okay. It's not as good as the um uh, uh, Haunting of Hill House, dude. Midnight Mass, though. You should watch that. Midnight Mass. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Is that, Mass, where is that at? Good Netflix. It's, on Netflix. it's it's the same creator as uh as Black Manor and Haunting of Hill House. It's like their other show. So you're okay. you will see like some it's of them are like show. from the same. But it's Same actress. No, no, no. no. Okay, that's true. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, anyway, I was, I was gonna share, like, I remember back in my shitty ass apartment back in college days. I remember I was just bored of one night and my room was dark. And it's like the studio type of room, so it's like really open. There's no like containment. And I was just thinking, yeah. man, what if there's like a uh, demons just sitting in that corner of my room? It, because it's like pitch black oh, in yeah. that corner. And I, I mean, I wasn't freaked out because I was just like, man, that would be a good. Th- if I'm if I'm gonna be freaking out, that would be a good reason to freak out. But I was just like, <laughs> I'm I'm too high. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Are you gonna do, man? Is you're freaking out and think something's watching? Just start jerking off. Yeah, just do it. So, do this for you. Yeah, do this like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, I think it's like just like Jesus Christ, what is wrong with this? I'm yeah, out. I will do that, and then I see the door open and close, and I know it's gone. <laughs> All, right, <I'm> gonna... <laughs> All right, he's done. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, like hey, you just hear like weirdo, <laughs> <laughs> weirdo <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we went from talking about horror movies, and this is how you survive a sleep uh, like a demonic attack, you know. They'll be weirded out. <laughs> don't take it as a. <laughs> a don't pull out the holy water. The holy water is within you. What is it? Are you loud and clear? Start checking. <laughs> oh. uh. Damn, but, but yeah, so. Uh, we're pretty much out of time. Uh, I I would like to thank you guys once again for having me or joining me for tonight's episode or this week's episode. Uh, this will be going up on Monday, exactly on the thirty first of October, Halloween. Today is currently the twenty sixth, I believe. So it should give us time to uh, uh, properly c- celebrate it. You know properly celebrate Halloween theme special you know uh, but yes yeah. we we talked about all sorts of horror movies starting from favorite horror movies and horror movies that we were exposed to growing up um, I was gonna extend on that but I had a massive brain fart and all those questions went out the window and we kind of <laughs> rambled on into different segments of of horror movies from the thing to uh uh, monsters versus monsters, you know, Freddy Krueger versus Jason Voorhees, Alien versus Predator, apparently The Ring versus The Grudge. Oh my! Did not know. Yeah, I might watch <laughs> that. I oh, I thought that was a joke at first, but seeing as it was a real thing, I'm definitely gonna give that a sh- a shot. Just, like, no, it's a real movie, man. Saying it's so shorter. Sadako versus Kayako is the title of that movie uh, um uh we also talk about how the std from it follows is a great uh sex ed video very educational uh though graphic so you can use it for anatomy class um 
uh, we had our brief discussion about Hollywood, uh, Hollywood ends, Halloween ends, and how it negatively affected us while we were all tripping balls. Well, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I I like to uh, thank you guys once again. Uh, joining me tonight is Mr. JB, aka J Balls, Jimmy, <laughs> aka Jim. I'm surprised yeah. she just went as Jim and my sister off screen, aka Jazz. I'm your host, <laughs> Cowboy Burrito, and we would like to wish you guys a happy Halloween and stay safe out there. Yeah. Stay Thanks, Rainier. All right. Thank you. And. Hush. <laughs>